Hello everyone, today's message is about the power of God is mercy. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 18 verse 21 to 22, Peter asked Jesus, Lord, how many times do I forgive a person that sinned against me? Is seven times enough? Jesus answered, not just seven times, but 70 times seven. Meaning, God will forgive us. And He never stops on forgiving us. Sometimes we are the ones who stops on asking for forgiveness. That's how good God is. He is merciful. So if that one of the characteristic of God is mercy. The Trinity is about mercy. God the Father loved this world. He made this world and He has mercy on this world. He offered His only begotten Son for this world. God the Son is merciful. He offered Himself to die for our sins. God the Holy Spirit has mercy on this world. He offered Himself to comfort us in times of difficulties and to strengthen us in times of trials and temptations. So God is mercy. God is love. God is mercy. God is a God of mercy. And He expects His children to be merciful. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 1, Judge not, and you too will not be judged. So God wants His children to be like Him, to be merciful. So in this world, if you want to be great in this world, you need to, you need to have money, power, um, influence, and you need to be greedy if you want to be great in this world. But if you want to be great in the eyes of God, you need to be humble, you need to love, you need to be merciful. Because love is the fulfillment of the law. Jesus said, love God with all of your heart, soul, strength, and mind, and to love your neighbor as you love yourself. So love is the essence of Christianity. So we need to be merciful because we are Christians, we are the follower of Christ, we are the lights of this world. So we need to love and we need to be merciful. Sometimes we ask ourselves, if God is merciful, why do He allow bad things to happen? We cannot deny that bad things really happen in this world. There are a lot of bad things that are happening in this world today. So if God is merciful, why do He allow bad things to happen? The answer is, this: we live in a fallen world. But the good news is, this world is not the end of everything. God prepared a better world for us. In heaven, there, there are no more pain, no more suffering, no more deaths. So, if you receive the mercy of God today, you will live forever in heaven. He has prepared a better world for you if you receive His mercy today. The Bible says in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So if you, have not, if, if you want to receive, uh, if you want to have a relationship with Jesus Christ today, just pray the simple prayer of faith. Just say, Lord Jesus, I repent of all my sins. Come into my heart and life. And I receive you as my Lord and Savior. If you pray that simple prayer, I believe that you are now born again. You have now, you have now eternal life. So today, live a life of love. Live a life of mercy because God is love. God is merciful. And continue to obey Him. And I believe that the best is yet to come. Thank you and see you next time.